So I'm here with Shaquansha. Shaquan, Shaquansha, Shaquansha. I've always wondered why the fuck is her name Shaquansha. Anyway, we here about the RuPaul Drag Race latest episode, The Snatch Game. Stay here, stay tuned, and we'll get into it. Alright, this week's episode, the contestants compete via the infamous RuPaul Snatch Game. This is my favorite, I mean absolute favorite part of every season thus far. So let me just say that right off. I've been waiting for this all week long. All week. Waiting. Actually, it's been two weeks because I think it's been two weeks since the last episode. So, two weeks. Y'all know I don't like waiting. I don't like watching episodes like this. I don't like watching stuff back to back. So, I was waiting. This episode, Candy and Simone are both guaranteed safe. They're here. It started out with them talking about the last week's episode, them being the bottom two, having to lip sync for their lives. Okay? Lip sync. And they both did the damn thing. So, I... It, I am so excited that RuPaul was like, ah, Candy, wait, Candy, I'm not ready for you to go. <laughs> she didn't say it quite like that, but you know what I mean. Candy, wait, Candy, I'm not ready for you to go. Um, anyway, so I'm excited because I wanted to see what each would bring to the Snatch Game. Everybody knows the Snatch Game is like the biggest part of the season, so here we go, Snatch Gamers. Um, let's get right into it. Let's just do it. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I don't want to get too excited as I am already, so I guess too late. So let, let's just get into it. The show starts off with the team reflecting back on their critiques and getting mentally prepared for the Snatch Game. That's almost like Oprah. You get a call. You get a call. Why does it sound like the Wizard of Oz or some shit? It's just way too dramatic. But anyway, so the Snatch Game is this episode. I think I've said that about five times if you didn't realize I was excited about it. But the challenge right now when the show starts off is the Pantyhose Group Audition. <laughs> they looked a hot pantyhose mess. But boy, oh boy, was it funny as hell. My favorite was how whoever that was that was high kicking. I think it was Denali, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Denali that was high kicking. So anyway, the girls get ready for their Snatch Game celebrity lookalikes. Let's break down who was who. Candy Muse was Patrick Starr. Denali was Jonathan Benet from Queer Eye. I hope I said his name right. Utica was Bob Ross. Simone was Harriet Tubman. <laughs> We're going to leave it there. Elliot was Rue McClanahan. Tina Burner was Richard Simmons. Lord Jesus. Gottnick was Paris Hilton. Olivia was Tabitha Brown. And Rosé was Mary Queen of Scots. <laughs> and that's a horrible ass accent. I'm, I know. But she was Mary Queen of Scots. Ugh. So, Shaquancha, let's get right into it. What you been up to, girl? How are things? Hi, baby, man. Review with Save On Social Club friends. 
Bye bye. Now I'm not sure if folks know this, but I knew Miss Porkchop when she lived. I just here go get off screen, girl, while you talk. It was so good to see her on the first season. Obviously, I was like, oh, wait, wait. And it took my friend Je Jessica to tell me, uh, you know who that is, right? But anyway, so it was good to see her and Miss Raven on the snap, the snap, the snatch game. Lord Jesus. Um, I was just too excited. You know what I'm saying? Raven, to me, is such a badass. So, girl, Simone was painted to look aged like Harriet and gave you that if Harriet was live today, she would be the auntie whipping kids' asses and when they get out of line, smoking cigarettes. Bitch, when she called Rue a nosy-ass, bald-headed MF, I was like, sign me up. I want Thanksgiving over in our Harriet's house. We know she gonna have pork chops, chitlins, and ham hocks, okay? <laughs> so, so Shaquansha, I love Got Nick's version of Paris Hilton. And I loved at how in the beginning he was like, Rue, let me know when you're ready so I can get in character. For me, that prepped us for how he was going to lay it down, switch voices, and birth Paris. That's hot. Rosé. Girl. When Mary Queen of Scotland started talking, I choked. I couldn't understand shit she was saying <laughs> at first. I really couldn't. But I couldn't stop looking at her and wanting more. I loved it how she interacted with Paris and was taking selfies and was really engaged. I know the show only shows a little bit, but I would love to have seen longer versions of the Snatch Game as a standalone. To me, that would be it. Totally it. Candy Muse played Patrick Starr. I don't know much about Patrick other than he's a makeup mogul. But to me, from Candy's rendition of him, it seemed like all Candy did was push all the food, all the facts that he was hungry. So it was all right. You know what I'm saying? Like he was just hungry, eating a lot of food, eating donuts, grabbing stuff. Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. All I'm going to say is research, research, research. I was over it. But thanks for coming. That's all I got. Denali, bitch, now this was my favorite because your version of Jonathan was dead on. You're on another one that I would just, well, you're on another one. You are another one that I just wanted to keep watching. I was obsessed with the hair, the silking of the hair, the, the beard, the the cans of 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 gots to be spraying hair products just bravo boo bravo you did it you did it you did it okay Elliot I see what you tried to do it was a miss so just go to sleep girl just just go to sleep I was just not here for it I ain't like it um I see the attempt, but girl, no. Utica, girl, the squirrels, my God. Squirrels for fro. You know, you're interesting. You do things. You you know, you go off the beaten path a lot. And that's 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 what makes you uniquely Utica. Um, but girl, the squirrel fro, really? Huh? And eating paint, girl. Girl, all I saw was ER, your future, urgent care. Like, who does that? Like, who, who does that? But let's not forget Tina Burnham and playing Richard Simmons. And the owl dance. Girl, and those legs. The legs, girl. The legs. When she brought up those legs. <laughs> Y'all, everybody know. Yeah, everybody knows that Richard Simmons is a whole character. So you know, you got to bring it with Richard as well. And I feel like Tina Burner brought it. Okay, I mean, I felt like she brought it. So that was a whole thing. But anyway, we're gonna move on to behind the scenes post the 
Snatch Game Challenge when they're in the workroom, they're talking, they're you know getting out of character. I think it was like the next day actually. They're getting out, they're coming in, they're reflecting. Shaquansha, what are your thoughts on the Snatch Game aftermath? And I'm gonna let you just have the screen, girl. And I'm gonna sit on back here, have me some libations. So here you go. Girl! It's funny how some folks thought they did really good. Like, when they showed up into the work workshop and started talking, like, they act like they, what they showed us wasn't horrible. So this is another reason why I agree. I want to see, like, more of the snap, snatch game. You know what I'm saying? Because they may have took the best out and the worst of the girls. I don't know. You know how they say any do. But it was a hot-ass mess. But... I mean, I like, I like her realness. Like, I like Utica's realness, you know. Well, no, I'm sorry, because she wasn't real in this moment. I liked uh, Olivia's realness, because she clocked Utica on being fake as hell, girl. She was like, now, girl, say what you said, and, and what you said the other day, and mean what you say, girl. So, good for you, Olivia, for checking a bitch. However, you should have checked your version of Tabitha at the trash can at the door before you came into the snatch game. Because, girl, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. At all. But they talked about they, um, they moved into talking about their first drag experiences. And it was interesting to listen to them and to all of their different types of support and not support given by their family members. So, say bye. So, like, what was your first drag queen experience like? And how has it changed today? First off, Shaquanja, I do not do drag oh. today, honey. Bunches of oats. I live the life you wish you had. Period, poo. But moving along, we move it down to the runway look, looks. And my bitch, T.S. Madison, is guest judging the show. And all I could think was, yes, Smurfette, girl! She had all that blue on looking like Smurfette, girl, and everybody knows that Smurfette ran all the Smurfs, okay? I was loving the look. The hair was absolutely dead on. I love how they gave the highlight of the gray or the platinum right there, honey. Yes, mamas. Yes, mamas. Serving body, face, hair. I, I literally thought Smurfette. Yeah. And I really hope to see her more on the show. You know, either this season, next season, just keep bringing her back, honey. And Rue showed up. Everybody know when Rue come on the runway, honey? Cover girl, put some bass in your wall, honey. Her face was everything. That body was everything. She was giving you grace. She was giving you life. It, I, I really couldn't say shit. I... You know, I could say one thing. I like how they always put that soft-ass lens, though. As soon as she come out, girl, everything just be soft and glowing and melting and blending. I was like, girl, but y'all put that hard-ass lens on all the girls. But Rue come out, baby. It's just like glamour shots, girl, <laughs> in video. I ain't mad at you. Because, bitch, if it was me, I have them soft lensing me all the way, too. Smoothing out my edges, honey unsharpening a few areas. And that's it. But girl, she was flawless as always. So there's that. Shugwansha, what are your thoughts of the runway looks? Let's just start it out with your thoughts. Um, Olivia, face was cute. Rose was cute. And I can see you in her ground. Very flamboyant and screamed, look at me, look at me. And all I thought was, that's you know, I always want to be looked at and shit. Um, Utica, care for that realness. Next. Girl, no, I don't. Girl, I don't care about that. I mean, we've seen it. She's funny, girl, but okay, girl. Simone. Bitch, eat! I love every bit of it. What it is to say, I mean, like, she had a white dress on. It was cute. It was you know, she gave us pointed hips and, and, and body and stuff. And then when she turned around, bitch, it was like gunshot, a little bit of the blood, and say their name. Say their name. It was a great use of her platform. And I lived for it, bitch. Yes, I did. I lived. Got me. Served Dracula daughter realness. Dracula. Denali. Yes, Sonic. Girl, I saw her come out there 
Equestrian realness. <laughs> Off to the horses and the races, darling. Okay. <laughs> but let's move to the tops and bottoms of this week with judges' critiques. Um, the critiques made me want to see more of the Snatch Game. Here I am back on the Snatch Game. I wanted to see much more. I will say that I do not agree with this week's decisions to uh, decision to send Elliot home. I do agree that both of the bottom two, uh, I agree that those who are in the bottom two should be in the bottom two. But in my opinion, when it came to the lip sync for your life, um, I feel that the performance, you know, should be the, about actual lip syncing. You know, that's where the focus should be. For me, Elliot did just that, served up lip sync, and Elliot well, Utica served up comedy. Um, when I watched Elliot, all I could think of was Britney Spears. I believe that I would have loved to see Elliot do a, a Britney Spears, you know, but the moves, she was giving you moves, she was giving you lip sync, she was giving you life. I, I saw that, you know. So for me, it's about the lip syncing. It's a, the, the performance being a part of, it's a lip sync challenge. So I really felt like Elliot should not have been sent home. Um, so I don't agree with that. Shukwasha, I'm sure you have a thought. So what are your thoughts? Okay, so if you ask me, I was not in agreement with the bottom two. I feel like Olivia and Utica should have been in the bottom two. Real talk. She didn't, Olivia really didn't exude or channel Tamitha Brown at all. At all. I mean, I bet, and, and when I think back on the whole challenge, and we know how much we love for the Snapchat challenge, um, it's like, was she there? Did she come? Y'all, was Olivia on the show tonight, girl? Did she call out sick? I mean, girl, who was she? Where was she? At least Utica, you remember, she's sitting over there in that character looking a hot ass mess girl eating paint, ready to be rushed to the emergency room, <laughs> urgent care girl. So at least you can remember her. You know, Elliot, girl, like, I feel like Elliot, even though she didn't really do a good job with showing Rue McClanahan out on the Golden Girl, I mean, I remember she was there. Even if it was an epic fail, I remembered she was there. That was the girl, you know, and Olivia was like, okay, girl. Where's, girl, I don't, anyway. So, when it came down to the lip sync, you know what I'm saying? I feel you have to look at who you can't keep your eyes off of during the lip sync challenge. So, I know you feel like it's all about the lips and the, and, and all that, girl. Uh -uh. I think it's about who's doing the theatrics that you just like, oh my God, I can't stop watching. Like, I, I just can't watch him. So for me, I, for me, I feel like it's who you could not keep your eyes off of. And Elliot was doing the normal traditional moves and gestures, you know, giving you, like you said earlier, Britney Spears, Britney please, bro. And Utica made you want to see what in the hell is she going to do? What is she doing and why? Girl, why is she all over that chain stage looking like a praying mantis, girl? <laughs> like, what the hell is going on? So, it kept me engaged, and to me, she did, she did that. She kept me engaged. So, I agree with who went 
home this week. Bye, Elliot. <laughs> I mean, you're going to do well. You were on RuPaul's Drag Race. You're going to do well. Well, Shaquancha, as always, thank you so much for doing the show with me. You know, it's one of those areas where I find you extremely useful, and thank you for being a friend. <laughs> Girl, hold it down for me this week, because you know I'm going to be out for a minute. Um, So hold it down. Do the channel right. Um, But yeah, you guys, so this is our review of RuPaul's Drag Race latest episode, The Snatch Game of season what? 13? Season 13. We're closer to getting to find out who is going to be crowned the next America's Next Greatest Drag Queen. Um, And I'm excited that, you know, I'm starting to look at the show. I really am. Like, it's it's entertaining. I don't know. I don't know what. I, I don't know. But I'm glad that I'm watching and I still have some more to watch. So Chaquancha and I, we're going to watch more and get caught up. We are. Um, so I think we're on season five now, I believe. But we're, we're going between season five and then the All-Stars. But that's kind of weird. I'm not, I'm not sure how they're working that out. I'm trying to figure all that out. So, because it's kind of getting ahead of itself. But anyway, we didn't watch Untucked this week, so we don't have a review for Untucked. Um, so, there's that. <laughs> Sorry, I've been busy with lots of things. So, you guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And continue to support 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 i thank you guys so much for being here and listening to me um i probably won't be here this weekend because i'll be healing so sorry but when i come back we'll get to crack a lacking okay crack a lacking i got me a whole bunch of moo's y'all and this is one of them that i'm wearing them now i'm wearing now but i got a whole bunch of cute little moo's girl who shops for their recovery she do she do she shops for her recovery. So I got me some moo so I can be kind of cute girl while I'm sitting up here in pain. Healing. Oh, healing. Healing hands touch and deliver. Um, so anyway, y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. And bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> Say bye, Shaquansha. Bye-bye. I'm about to go, girl. Good night, honey, because, you know, you got, we got to go, girl. We got a tan punch. We got, I got shit to do. So, y'all, listen, make sure y'all go on and like my page, too.